Hi folks, I am here to give you a quick introduction to the Groove Pizza created by the NYU Steinhardt Music Experience Design Lab. Uh, the Groove Pizza was created to help beginners learn how to program different drum patterns in various styles and genres, and to help musicians of any level of ability explore rhythms using geometric visualization. So here is the Groove Pizza. Um, below it, there's this grid that is kind of a standard drum machine interface. And up here is the same grid, but represented in circular form. So I'm going to hit play. And you're going to hear the default drum pattern. So the outer circle here which corresponds to the bottom row of the drum programming grid is the kick drum. I'm going to add a couple more kick drums. Um, the middle ring, which right now has nothing in it, is the snare drum. So I'm going to put a couple of snare drums in there. And then the inner ring is the hi-hat. So by adding and removing hits, you can see on the circle, they also appear on the grid down here. And also add and remove stuff on the grid. And it will appear on this circle as well. So over here we've got some controls. We've got tempo, defaults to 120 BPM, but it's lower or faster. We've also got a swing control. Pizza's got 16 slices in it, um, which you can think of as being uh, one bar of 4-4 four, four time in 16th notes, or two bars of 4-4 four, four time in 8th notes um, if you want to count and cut time. But by changing the number of slices, you can change the time signature. So for example, if I want 3-4 or 6-8 or any triple meter, I can just set it to 12 slices. Uh, and I can do odd meters too, so if I want to do uh, 7, 4, or 7, 8, I can set it to 14 slices. I can even set it to 13 slices if I want to get really weird. And the last basic control is here in the center of the circle. And this gives you different drum kits. So the default drum kit is techno, but we've also got rock. Jazz, hip hop, and Afro Latin. So, down here, this row of circles uh, enables you to program patterns that are more than one bar long. Um, so, I'm going to click on the first empty one here. And it's going to duplicate the first circle. So now we're doing the first one, second one, first one, and second one. Um, so I'm going to make the first one a little different. Also extend it to three bars and four bars using these other two pieces of this. Uh, so the other circles over here, the other controls over here rather, are specials. These are preset patterns. So first there's just a blank, just an empty pattern. There's the default groove, the default pattern. Jazz swing. Bembe, which is an Afro Latin pattern, and a bunch of others that I will talk about in another video. 
So I'm going to make a new blank pizza. So I'm going to use the hip hop kit. The last control over here that I want to talk about, the second to last control, is the shapes menu. So using the shapes menu, I can just drag geometric shapes onto the circle. And see how they sound. What we discovered working on this is that all these shapes sound pretty good. That there really is no combination of geometric shapes that sounds unmusical. But you really cannot do anything wrong using the shapes. It's pretty remarkable. So if you've got a pattern that you really like, there's this last control down here that says share. And you've got a few options. You can continue in Soundtrap, meaning it'll just launch Soundtrap and load your pattern onto the drum machine. Um, you can export it as a WAV file. You can export it as a MIDI file, and you can use either of those in any uh, DAW and any digital audio workstation, so GarageBand, Logic, Ableton, things like that. Um, and then the last thing is you can share on social media. Um, you can also share on social media just by taking this link. Um, every Groove Pizza session generates a code here at the end of the URL, the end of the web address. And so if you just copy and paste this web address, then you can share uh, this pattern with anybody. They just click the link and your pattern will open. So if you're doing this for homework, um, you can send this link to your teacher. Uh, if you just want to share it with a friend, you could put it in an email or a message. Um, so I hope that is enough to get you started with the Groove Pizza, get you started trying out some beats. Um, I'm going in some other videos that are going to be linked below. Uh, I'm going to dig more deeply into the specials and into the concept of swing. Thanks for watching.